Just gotta love it though. <laughs> and hey, it's me, you know, T, the one and only queen. <laughs> Not really, but you know what I mean. I'm here back again with another point of hearts of battle. Oh, yeah. And we were doing general surgery. Well, we actually, we just set up the ER and the traumatology, if I remember rightly, with all the doctors and all that monarchy. Oh, oh. Um, and we were going to, today's episode, we're going to focus mainly on general surgery. And what I like to do and how... I like to tweak a little bit a couple of things and the doctors it's kind of similar how I did with the ICU did I do trauma no I did trauma and ICU it's kind of similar and how I um, do that but we've got surgery that we have to deal with so it's really important that we choose the right type of doctors and I mistakenly um, pressed the wrong button I thought I had doctor mode on but it wasn't. So we have Dr. Mode and we'll be doing Dr. Mode for um, the clinic, the emergency ER. Um, why we're creating general surgery. And so then you can at least get to see how this game is and how awesome it is. And the many different layers to it. So you can be your best architect and have the most efficient hospital in the world or you can just control patients and right now we've only got two patients in which is fine and the more and more we start opening up things the more crazy it's going to become so we've got upstairs where where is i'm concerned right that's on the third floor okay so what we're going to do, we're just going to quickly just look at what hmm. Hmm. Uh, apparently these are just way too big way too big like this is unnecessary it really is I can literally put the nurses oh, that, oh the nurses I could put the nurse and the doctors in this section here and we can get that done uh, from there personally and we can have more of um we could probably put these two on the diagnostics on this side um and then have all the doctors going on that way just to make it a little bit better because I'm sorry, this is way too big. It was way too big. Um, what I will do, though, is just take a look at what it looks like here. Um, okay. Right. It is a tight squeeze. But we definitely can make it a little bit better. We definitely can make it a little bit better, for sure. Um, because the doctors on honesty, like they really don't need this much. They really don't. Um, all this is expensive as hell. I cannot believe how much money they spent. And normally, I'll just completely gut 
um the entire thing out but it's already here so this will be completely empty and i'll just literally put as many wards as i could possibly get in there at all times like i would just probably just stack them as much as i can and there will be nothing at all to look at but it'll be interesting to see how prestige goes and how everybody feels with it um going forward and then you have our own surgery there and we have another large surgery there which we really don't need to be fair actually no it's the same size as eight by eight um and we've got something that we don't really need hmm i wonder what section that is interesting all right and uh, this is what is this this staff room right now listen we could probably take that out and put another two surgeries in there like it's, it's yeah i don't like that okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna completely take all of this out and trying to preserve uh some of the goods here because i don't want to sell the stuff right um it's a lot of money uh, i don't get, i'm not gonna get everything back when i sell it um so it's just po it's pointless at the moment to um sell it and then buy it and then rebuy it again it's just pointless in my opinion um but i have to take everything out because I'm going to move, I'm going to cut this all out and I'm going to m literally move it. And the one thing that the computer doesn't like, this game doesn't like, it doesn't like it when there are other stuff inside um, that doesn't pertain to the actual room that I'm moving. And it will be a bit of a pickle. Um, and so I'm only moving the things that I really want to preserve here um, going forward. And if I can, I'll probably put actually i'll probably put everything that i really want to keep in that ward uh, that we have going on there um we really don't need that okay um just trying to think we've got this we don't really need to have this in the doctors but i'll i'll give it a go um okay that's something new and i'll take this and i'll take this because that coffee machine is pretty dope um so let's just take that all out actually i've got to be careful because that would uh sometimes it will take the wall as well if you're not careful um just gonna take it all away okay this must be on the outside um okay so now everybody's probably like oh this this too much well we can cut to move a room or selected area so what we can do here, we're just literally going to cut this room out and we're going to flip it and reverse it and we're just going to stick it right here and you see how that's just opened it all up now and what it will do, it will literally just take what that room was and just pull it right there it will sometimes though give you that room uh, the the windows um so you do have to make some kind of adjustments to it but for the most part it's actually pretty dope really quick way to move things that you kind of want to have and then going forward i can i don't want the size of this but i do want the stuff that's inside it so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna make i probably can fit one two three four actually i probably could fit that I can actually do that actually um, I don't really like the size but for the aesthetics at the moment I can um, move uh, hmm. 
yeah i can move the I'm, i can move that completely and put it on that side there um it's not what i really wanted but that being said let's take another look at it yeah because then i could just double the one that i've already got and i don't have to move it around it's not what i wanted because really i can't fit anything else in there one two three four five one two three four five I wonder, no, I think I have to only, d let me, let me, hold on, let me see something, um, let's, so the diagnostics room is here, let's see, is, can it do 4x4, four four? okay, so diagnostics, I could probably shrink that, and what is this total? 16 so i can actually make a four by four it'll be long and narrow but i can probably do that and yeah i think i'm gonna do that yeah i'm gonna do that and then just move the the wall around and then we can get four more diagnostics and you're probably like oh well diagnostics is way too much no it actually isn't we need a lot more diagnostics than we need when you think about it because a lot of the things that take place in the general surgery area is very diagnostic based and um and they do proceed they don't do bedside procedures they do all this the proceed some of the procedures that they can do bedside in the diagnostics area and so that can really clog up a lot of uh, sections and a lot of time and it's it's uh, such a palaver especially when you have to wait um and that's and that's why um the more the merrier in my opinion but like i said everybody plays the game a little bit different and and that's okay and once we get that sorted we can just copy that room and move it over twice and then take what's in here and put it in the last room over there okay so let's tidy this up a little bit um because it looks like there might be a little bit too much in the room um and there's some things that are not very a that we're not able to um get done I do know that we definitely need that regardless um, and I'm just putting it here so I can um, maneuver this around because this is the station that the doctor goes to and it's not really dependent on it being there but the diagnostics machine is um, and so we need to be you know, we need to pl place everything in a particular order just to help the flow um of it okay so that's why we've got to put it there but there's something there that we can't do which is this let's put that here we'll put that here and we can move that over there of course but of course why is it blocked oh see look see Dialysis, dialysis machine is blocked by another person. Okay, by another thing. All right, and this is why it's really important because the dialysis people come in and do dialysis for the kidneys, and we get a lot of kidneys as well. Um, we get a lot of kidneys. Well, we get a lot of things for our <laughs> a lot of um situate a lot of um ailments to do with the kidneys is that the same so we do need a crp scan and we're going to move that over here so that's definitely desperate that we definitely need um and we're going to move this poster which probably we don't really need it however we're just going to keep it in there for aesthetics and this mobile work we need to have two ways so we need to have that free and this free and we're going to put that over there no actually we're going to put that over here can i put that there i can 
because he'll come there and he'll, or he'll come round and then or she will the doctor will wash their hands and then they'll go to the workspace so we have to see how their flow is i don't think i need that and i was correct and i could just put that over here um and that should be a-okay for pickup perfect um and i don't think i need the oxygen machine do i no because it would have come up no i don't um it's uh, saying that i need a stretcher but i do have a what is this the cave is oh, it's a card file so this is just aesthetics at the moment okay What's this? Equipment cabinet. Well, let's just delete this right now, actually, because I don't need it, per se. I think that's pretty darn good for now. It is the bog standard. Um, we will choose another door. Uh, can we choose the same door that I just did? And then we place that there. And we'll place one here just to make sure it's accessible and everything is a-okay right now what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, we're gonna save this room um and it's another cool feature that you can do you can you can copy and create prefabs and then save it um now the trick is i've already got certain things already oh no that's that's annoying but I shouldn't have placed that that door. I forgot about that. All right. Oh no, I forgot. Let me undo. Can I undo that? No, I can't. But a fish. Um. Let's. I forgot about the other room that has all the equipment in. But of course. Um. But of course. Let's get rid of that and I got rid of the wrong door. <laughs> no <laughs> let's put the door back. <laughs> Alright, um and let's put the door over here and we're gonna do that over there. Um and we can move that all around. Okay, so completely mucked up there. <laughs> we spent way more money than we needed to. 30 grand yay however we can probably recycle some of this not the dialysis machine though the dialysis machine what i think i'm gonna do is let's put all the stuff over here for now um the the mach can we make this one two three four can we make this four general surgery office how big is this section here can you stay still? Can you stay still? So what is that? Twenty one. Hmm. So we could do five. Five. That's four. We could do that. We could do it like that. So let's do that. Yeah, we could we could do we could do it like that. Okay, perfect. Um, and we're gonna simply do the same thing that we did, um, as as to the other ones. And um, for the purposes of just this video, I'm going to quicken it up. We got to zoom, and I'm gonna get it all done. And so uh, you've already seen how I did it before. I'm gonna do all of that. So I'll be back with you. I'll see you in a bit.
Okay, so we did all this, and I'm good for that. Now we just need to make our nurses and doctor's room shared, and we can easily get this done. Okay. We'll see you in the other side, and we're going to do all the things. Okay, I think I am done with this area. Spruce that up a little bit. Um, let's see. Okay, yep. Yeah. So we can have. So what I decided to do. It is a bit hard to see at the moment, but what I decided to do is um. We have to make sure we have a certain amount of surgeons on at any one time. So really, the on-call is really our actual surgeon team. Now, typically for one surgery unit, you need to have one surgeon, one anesthesiologist, one, um, two surgery nurses, and one um, backup. So we need three doctors and two surgery nurses uh, to be there. So I decided this this section here, which has the glass tables, to be our surgery um, doctors or surgery nurses, like anesthesiologists or the surgery nurses in particular. So when I'm going to hire, I know exactly what I'm doing. Thereby, it's easier for me. Um, and what we're going to do is, we don't necessarily need somebody really super duper high in medical surgery. Yes, we probably do. But patient care is something that I also look at into. So Margaret Clark is probably the best person to look at right now. Um, not only is she doing that, but I'm going to take her out of patient transfers. You're probably wondering why. Okay, well, I just want her focusing on patient care and, nursery and, and, and surgery nurse. Considering that right now at this present moment, I have limited staff So once she's finished with that one surgery if there's another surgery backing up It takes about 10 minutes or so for her to reset and then go to the next surgery If I could do that back to back all she needs to do and take care of is actually surgery and Therefore the general surgery, which is the reason why most people are there for can continuously just go through surgeries like at least four surgeries a day hopefully without actually giving them any type of boo ha ha you know so that's my main thing now um you know it is what it is <laughs> okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to take a look at the anesthesiologist and i'm just going to pick somebody that has the highest that i can do as well as highest in general surgery in the meantime I will unlock some of this just to make sure because I don't mind early birds but what I'm not going to do he's unpleasant as well but he has 90% in general surgery and 97 diagnosis 
and he has 35% in anesthetology. So he possibly can do some on-call patients while he's waiting, uh, but ideally we really don't want him to do that. Um, this guy, however, has 49% anesthetology, and even though he is depressed, he is a good boss and he's a scholar. He has no other bad traits. He does have 64% in general surgery, but he really isn't, I mean, I don't know. But we're going to just choose him anyway. <laughs> um, and we're going to click on him and see, this is where we've got diagnostics. We don't want him to diagnose anybody. And he's the person that's going to go into the wards and going to check on the people. We're not going to do that. We want somebody just to assist at surgery or be the anesthetologist at the surgery. Now, he's not going to assist at surgery. He's just going to be an anesthetologist. Um, and that's that's all I want him there for. And then we're going to have a nighttime person that all he's going to do is just to be the same as well, anesthetologist. He's going to be a nighttime person, but he has a long commute to work. I will choose him, choose her, Judy Jones, just for the sake of that she's a hard worker. And that's all that I'm going to do. So she's just going to focus on that. Now that we've got an anesthetologist in, in the anesthetologists we're going to do our surgeries now our surgeon he's going to be assistant um but he does need to have good operative surgery um and the reason being is um we really don't want any infections so kate jones is definitely going to be hired for the morning um, and we're not going to have her doing any diagnostics and we're going to do interchangeable she can either be the surgeon um because she has 47 percent and she can assist either or um and she has 93 percent general surgery she could possibly di do diagnostics if things hit the fan and sometimes they really do um especially when i do events <laughs> um and i think uh, this one is really too low and i really don't like that um let me just quickly check Operative surgery at the moment is a hot doo doo mess, and I'm probably going to spend money to hire new candidates because that was really bad. 37, and they have general resistance and they've got a long commute. I would like to see their bad traits, but you're a Spartan, so their needs reduces slower, so they're less likely to go to toilet, which probably is a good thing for surgery because they have to recharge every time they go to surgery and it's really annoying i hope they've changed that i don't know but we're going to take that out in fact depending on what i get if i get any better surgeons we'll see how this goes uh, for now and this is going to be our main surgeon he's he's going to be the bee's knees the dogs the dog's bollocks as i say um and if we can get the best operative surgeon then that's great uh comforting germaphobe and fast metabolism i'm just gonna choose her from the time being because she does wash her hands a lot um she doesn't have the great operative surgery but i'm not gonna pay another two and a half grand just for that to reset again oh we got a 39 percent here um but that's on general surgery 26 10 10 wow we have a horrible bunch i'm actually gonna have to do that okay um she's a good boss but she is depressed i'm gonna take it i'm gonna take it book um they're not the best and they probably could be the ones that assist in surgery and that being said if that's the case we can definitely change this over to fraser and fraser can definitely have that and book jackson can be here now, Book Jackson, we're not going to do that. She's not going to do any main surgery, but she will assist to the surgeon. And he is now going to be, because of his 37% operative surgery skill, we're going to take the assist to surgery off. Um, she's the best. She's probably the numero uno. And since morning is the busiest, we're definitely going to make her the chief surgeon. She's not going to be the assist, but we are going to change that around. And we're going to move it over. Um, so Susan Martinez, Kate Jones is going to take your place. Uh, so there we go. And we just do that. And there we go. And it resets every time you do it. It's really annoying. But at least you kind of know what's going on. And we can take that out. 
everything's all copacetic and everybody has assigned roles now you're probably like oh but that's just silly blah, 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 blah. listen if you want your general surgery to keep on ticking you really need to do that you need to separate them completely now i've got another two spots were, um, left and you're probably like why well we want on call and we want them to be focused on diagnostics and really high general surgery and advanced diagnos diagnostics because when we put them into the wards they're going to be the ones giving and curing and putting them into the as quickly as possible we want to get them out and more time i've actually lost people because they haven't um they haven't actually gotten cured or um or had any emergency care applied to them because these guys are just taking so long so if i could take if i can get somebody with really fa that's really fast like this fast but they are unpleasant which is probably not good for bedside manner i'm really going to go with this person they're a diagnostic genius and they have practical diagnosis experience so 20 percent bonus experience on top of that listen she is well he michael miller is the the creme de la creme despite the 16 percent on the advanced diagnostics it means you could just he's just going to be breezing through all of the diagnostic quickly now you can see that he can actually be an assistor surgery however i'm not going to let him do that i'm just going to let him go and do diagnostics that's his bread and butter i'm going to have two people on call because the wards are quite large and especially if i have an event it's going to get quickly real quick and we really don't want that um so we're gonna try and see if we can get somebody that is really good advanced diagnosis if we have and the 44 percent is the unpleasant one Oof. really somebody that i really don't want to do but it looks like i might have to take a, a real big hit with nancy white and i'm just hopefully that he can just that's gonna be really bad <laughs> it's gonna be really really bad maybe i'll put white on at night time um, but it looks like i don't have really great diagnostics at the moment i'm probably gonna do mr paul baker he's a germaphobe but he's also a really good boss he's 72 that's fine um and then what are we gonna do right under um let's see if we can get a really good general surgeon um okay i'm not gonna pay for that okay I'm going to take a risk on Kate Addison. Anderson. Yeah, I've, I, she's got some things hidden. Maybe Michael Harris. I'm doing Michael Harris. He's only 62 in general surgery, but his advanced diagnosis actually is one of the best that we have at the present moment. Um, it says 25, but... Yeah yeah that's 25 that's 16 that's 44 and that's 40. so actually i'm not going to swap them around i think i think they're pretty dope in its own entirety yes they're a team but the night time we have to compare the two the two daytime work well with each other because he hasn't got the greatest um, diagnostics so she can probably plow through all of that she's not going to be great though because she's unpleasant so let me quickly see who can be the greatest boss ever alive i think it was michael miller when he had great boss um, abilities um but he's not a f he's a fellow um hold on he's got great boss he's got a really great boss good boss you know what i'm going to give it to him fraser addison um Fraser uh, oh he's night time hmm. he is night time uh Brooke Johnson she's night time as well got some really good bosses at night um Paul Baker at night also okay I'm gonna go with Fraser Anderson regardless um Susan Martinez she's got 35 percent she's got 37 she's a specialist he's a specialist but he's got five she's got five she's daytime 
I'm gonna go with that. Susan Martina, just because she's daytime, and we're gonna put the certainty of um to confirm diagnosis diagnostics. I'm gonna put them quite high because I'm not actually sitting up with them, um setting them up, sorry, and so it's gonna be quite murky and, and all that jazz. Let's just double check. I've got everything. Got my diagnostics team on hand. I've got my surgeons, my anesthetologists, and I need a nighttime um, surgery nurse. We need two medical surgery nurses um, there, so we still need another daytime as well. Um, and that's why we've got the exclamation point. And we also don't have any doctors for the clinics as well, which we also have to find too, because those are completely separate in its entirety. Um, okay, we're just going to choose you for now. Um, you don't have great, but then I'm going to choose the other person and I'm going to have them also. What's your long commute? I don't want to do that. I'm actually going to choose you. Um, you're not the best, but, um, it is what it is. I'm going to do that. 13%. It's really quite bad. Um, Patricia Adams. Uh, it's not good at all. Really bad. Um, okay. And so now the rest of the people, I kind of, the people that I do now choose, I'm going to choose just right, I'm going to choose like the cheapest of the cheaps. I'm just going to do like a runner, people that transfer over. And typically I do that with two two trans two um two runners in the in in the area and the rest of focus they can still transfer but they're going to focus on patient care. And I'm going to probably do probably do um the interns, the people that don't have really cool oh, Jesus. She has really high patient care there and she's a receptionist. I'm going to choose Um, why why am I getting these people now? Medical surgery. I think I'm gonna hire you just for the sake of it. Um, and who can I fire? <laughs> I can fire you. Um, what I'll do, I'll make you a runner and just move you along. Um, what's her name? Patricia Adams. Let's put Patricia Adams here. Make you a runner. And she's really strong. So Karen Scott. I hope she doesn't mind being in there. Oh, she's night anyway, so that's a night owl. So that's an awesome source. Um, I'm not gonna get her to to run around. She doesn't really need to. She just needs to focus on being patient and being nice and all that jazz. Okay, so she's doing that. And so daytime, not medical surgery. What is that? Loyal, pleasant. Hello, where were you? Right, we're gonna hire Mark, uh, and we're gonna fire you, or we can just make you a runner for now. <laughs> and we're gonna change over Jessica Gonzalez for Mark um, Johnson. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Mark, you are the piece of resistance. You're really good at what you do. We kind of need that. And it was Patricia, no, Jessica Gonzalez, right? Is it Jessica Gonzalez? I don't even know. No, it was Patricia Adams. It was Patricia Adams. Yeah, it was. Yep, Patricia Adams. She's going to do patient transfers. I'm still just trying to look for patient transfers here. <laughs> um, One more person, and hopefully I don't have to higher them ah 94 they're slow i really don't need that but they're hard workers that's it's nonsense nonsensical um okay let's do that and then i'm gonna go with the really good nurses i want the clinical nurse specialists i want the highest the best of the best um, and we're going to just definitely look, take a look at that to make sure that we're not going to hire any alcoholics and all of that good jazz. Okay, she's definitely going in. Judy Martin, yes. Um, and I want them. Th so they're going to be like hell bent, focused, making sure they're all fed and they're all nice. And we've got 
alcoholic alcoholics up to the to, that is the most uh, okay the hard working and you're a nurse specialist and you've got really bad patient care uh, do I hire you for running but I've already got runners I do have another person hmm nope I'm just paying two and a half grand uh, to get rid of that yes I Okay, you're late but you are fast and you do move quite fast um but let's see what else you're at i'm going to choose you barbara wilson williams uh, because you're spartan and you've got loyalty you're 39 percent nurse specialist 54 percent patient care pretty decent for me um and i do like you as well but you've got a long commute but i'm going to choose you okay i choose you um don't worry about that <laughs> um the only thing that is that they have a long commute but because they're fast and they've got long resistance they're gonna they're gonna not want to um to to really spend time so the time that they spent they normally the long commute is about an hour or so before they attend shift um but then if they have resistance and they're fast then probably make up for it I don't like it, but it is what it is. Um, and then we're going to go for one more person. They've got really clean feet, but they are new to parent, which means they get tired very quickly. Um, but you are a people person. You've got, mm, you know, got greatness. I don't want two people always late on the commute. So I'm going to probably choose you just for the sake that you want. Oh, I could have chosen another person for the runnage. Uh, you're okay. I forgot about that. All right, so we're gonna do this. Let's see what the worst, the worst. Ninety-four, twelve percent. Um, you're slow, so we're definitely not gonna hire you. Absolutely not. Um, I'll hire you. Yeah, you're probably an alcoholic, aren't you? And we're gonna hire you. And long commute. You better be fast, bro. You better be fast, bro. Alright. So your patient care is in the water. So we're just going to have one person running. Um, you've got some specialists. So you will can do patient care. I don't mind that. And you're probably going to be my receptionist, actually, for <laughs> general... Let's actually... For general surgery, because you have some patient care elements yeah karen jones let's let's move you over uh yeah um she's gonna be my receptionist she's got pay really high patient care which means she's more likely to um diagnose somebody i think but i know that if you have a really good receptionist you can diagnose you can get them diagnosed real quick and i kind of want that i kind of want it um so we're gonna get somebody really low uh we'll do that so they can do so we've got one runner daytime and then patient care and then we've got patient care movers i think we're gonna just take away the transfer on you and take away the transfer so we've got two people just devoted on patient care the rest are all runners and then we've got two runners on each shift it's looking good it's looking good okay yeah that's that's pretty decent okay i like this setup i'm i'm good to go and then we're going to quickly go to receptionist because that's really key your early bird and i can always change you around if you're the best of the best you are at this present moment baby and i'm gonna do that i'm gonna swap you around i really wish that i can really is this what life is what is life what is love baby don't hurt me did i not hire you i swear i hired her did i not hire her what Karen Jones. 
um, assign work. So let's assign employee to workspace. And then we're going to do that. Okay. All right. I see what it was. I see what it was. So I need to have doctors. Okay. Wow. Um, we're gonna just gonna go for the advanced diagnostics here, and we're gonna do this with bad boy. Um, she hasn't got great advanced diagnostics, but she does have really good diagnosis out of the whole bunch. So she's hired. Perfect. 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 Thank you. Let's go. I don't have time. And do, 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 do. I'm gonna choose you. Okay, so now can I choose you? Yes, I can. Um, it was Jane Jackson I wanted her to be. No, I wanted her to move. Okay. And Karen Jones. There we go. Woo woo woo. Yeah, baby. Oh, such a long episode. Alright. Okay, I think we should be good. Got to build out more people. I don't think I need any more after that. You're going to be a long commuter, but... You've got some really decent stats other than that. You're a hard worker. Please tell me you're not alcoholic. I really don't want that. Um... 49 you've got clean feet I do like a good clean foot here and there I'm gonna do that so we're gonna hire just three if I need four I'll, I'll it'll be it'll be good but for the most part we really don't need any more ah yes actually we need technicians um so let's make our USG just a little bit higher nothing that we can really do at the moment I'm not gonna hire anybody late and this one now if we make built two USG areas we could do one for clinic and one for wards only and it just helps alleviate um oh why do I feel that you've got like awful stats but I'm just gonna not spend money on that uh, 32, 39, you are long commute. Both of you are long commutes. Listen, what are we doing here, bro? I can't do this. Listen, cardiology and all of that jazz, and you've got dirty feet. <sighs> Alright, let's quickly get this uh, janitors up. I'm going to do that. I'm just going to pick people that have no bad traits whatsoever. You are a long commuter. I'm going to give it to you. And we want really, really good janitorial, actually. Um, the reason being is we've got the surgery and we don't want to skimp and shave, save on, uh, on, on janitors for the general surgery. If they do not clean up properly, you will get constant... Um, MRSA and things like that. All right, let's do this, bad boy, and let's play it for a little bit. Jesus, it'd be nice if I played it for a bit. Um, let's control. There we go. No. Oh, right, actually, let's save the game. Actually, Oof. <laughs> Yeah, let's let's save the game. Okay. Right, let's play this. Let's go. Okay, let's see what we got. Big boy. Thank God for speeding up stuff. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Alright, here we go. Uncover the symptom. Okay, she's got a calf contusion, so she definitely has legs. Um, definitely, because we did a lower la limb on her, and we're going to give her numbing ointment, and she can go home soon, which is great, and I'm really happy for that. But they definitely need to do x-ray. 
I can't do anything on that. Like, I don't know if it's like a contusion or a fracture because I don't know why. She doesn't have a workplace? What? Can we go to her? What did I do wrong? And you are a medical surgeon. So, sorry, I, oh, I think I know what I did wrong. Hmm. Hmm. I hired one too many. Well, we can make another one. We can just put a, uh, We we'll just put this here. That's one good thing about that. I'm sure she's not gonna let mind. <laughs> um. Um. Just put Gonzalez. Uh, sign her. <laughs> Did I not make it? Where did I put her? What? Okay, I swear I just literally put something here. Oh. I'm so silly. <laughs> it's like Alright. And you can be nobody. I'm just gonna do that. Alright. No. Okay, I guess save the game. Save it. Okay, press play, please. Immediate. 10 patients per day, treat 20 patients per emergency. That's not bad. Okay, hopefully we've not got too much surgery. And it's raining, and it's also raining outside too. It's like you... Like, you see me. That's pretty dope. I like the way they did their reception like that. And we possibly can open it up, so when it becomes a bit too much crowded. Too much crowded, wow. Oh, that's where they went. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? So let's move this out of the way. <laughs> I was looking for them. So at least we know we've got some stuff over there. <laughs> I was like, where is... I know there was more. Who would have thought I'd put it in the corridor? In the main courtyard. Can you imagine coming into the hospital and you just see all of that? I would walk straight out. Like, these guys are not serious, fam. Like, what's happened? <laughs> what has happened, bro? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Right. And they've got fancy doodah chairs as well. And tables. Let's just just call it at that. All right. So let's quickly take a look because they gave me more um, insurance, and I've always played with like a couple. Let's add that, and let's add. Can I only add so many? I can only have three out of three. So treat one patient per day at any specialised department and then it unlocks hospitalisation. Okay, cool. And I get 100% too. Nice. Wow, there's so many more. Alright, let's see. Hopefully our workload is not going to be too tough. They're all chillaxing. I'm paying them all this money. But then they are... They do save our lives. 
I'm really surprised. This is taking forever. Already I've got 104 staff members? Jesus. There's literally nobody in our hospital. Literally. Oh, here's, here's the one. Got a leg contusion. I doubt, oh, yeah, this, this is unnecessary. This is unnecessary. This takes forever. Alright, let's speed it up. <laughs> You've done five. Normally, I'm I'm from like a really small hospital. Yep, yeah, send her home. Go. Get her out of here. Yep. Yeah. What have we got? Ankle contusion. Get out of here. He doesn't need a wheelchair. He's got a booze. Ugh. Can he go now? Oh. So this is definitely me, one of the ones that I was talking to you about. Um, so we've got plain full ur urination. We're definitely going to do abdomals. And we're going to do a USG on her. Um, yeah, definitely going to do that. And I take a urine sample. Hopefully that will be quick. Get him out of here. Alright, let's go slow. Okay, so this is someone new that's just come in. Calculus. There's nothing really I can do other than doing like an, a shock on her. Um, so we have to do a USG. Um, foot contusion. He can just go home. You've got abdominal pain. So let's just give you that. And there's nothing I can really do after you get the USG. You've got heptic fibrosis. So we definitely... They need to be in general surgery. Yeah. Um, let's do a physical just to double check and I think is it the CRP levels really bad and they've got jaundice as well um, is it CRP no it's blood test okay so let's get the blood test got done and I think the CRP could still have uh, told it as well um, and uh, transient no, it's, yeah, CRP, low CRP, yeah, transient. So, okay, so let's do the CRP and the transient. Oh, no, I did that wrong. Okay, um, he's waiting, he's got pancreatitis. Let's take him up to general surgery, um, give him some stomiacs. He definitely needs the IV antibiotics, and we're going to just take a look at him and give him a U. We need to give him an ECG, don't we? But he's not flashing. But he can get um, hypertension. Mm. Trichardia, yeah. Let's do ECG, just to double check. It's not flashing. This would flash if it was serious, but it isn't. So, I tend to do things so I just know that I've done it right. Uh, and so when there is a problem, because I'm playing on the easiest setting. Um, shockwave, yeah, okay. I'm playing on the easiest setting, and what you want to do when you when you start to get things a little bit harder, those uh, cues go away. Um, since there's nothing else to do, I'm gonna put you in control of the doctor, so I've signed you out. Um, and what that's gonna happen is that they will just send him home, and I don't have to worry about all of that. I tend not to do that unless they have all the symptoms uh, done because they'll start doing things um, unnecessary. If I know exactly if it's pancreatitis, I, I really won't need to take any more time doing more examinations. I really don't. Um, you know, it is what it is. So let's speed up. She needs to be hospitalized. Oh, I forgot about that. Let's put in a regular because she's got nothing else. She should be fine. Um, nothing is flashing, so I'm, I'm good with that. And I forgot about that. The shockwave litho, um, lithotrispicy or whatever it is. I don't ever say it right. I'm sorry. 
Um, yeah, we've got to be hospitalised. And that's, I think that's done in the diagnostics as well. Okay, so she's definitely got a calcius of the ureter, and she's also going to be in shockwave. And the autosave, there we go. And since there's nothing there, it shouldn't, shouldn't take long actually to get that all done. Yep, they can go home. We're good. And I sent them home even though I had some symptoms. Nice. Even though I had some symptoms, they weren't flashing and we're good. So she's okay. She's got nothing. So it looks like... Oh, she hasn't got it done yet. Okay. She's had her procedure finished. We just need to double check that she hasn't got anything wrong with her. Just double checking. Wow. Possible Lyme disease. And thank God we haven't got infectious diseases at the moment. Uh, nothing is that. So we just to do this and... Let's do abdominals um, and do a chest. And I think I'm going to do a CRP. Chickenpox or American Typho. It's definitely chickenpox. Let's give it analgesics for you. Alright, let's slow things down. She can go home, so I'm going to take her off the card. She So whatever happens... She's going to be signed out and DC'd or discharged. Um, she's got blood in her wee, hematuria. That must be really horrible. And we can discharge her as well. We DC, DC her. Um, I feel like I haven't... Oh, I have treated that. Okay. So I have treated that and she's uninsured. Wow, she's giving me all that money. Okay, sugar pox. Let's do this. Antivirals. She has all the papulas and vesicles. All of that has been uncovered. So we can get, we can just treat him and then he can be exited. He, we didn't put him in a hospitalization, which is great. So he can go as soon as. And look, pork tapeworm. Clearly, there. Butchers is. It's horrendous, and we probably need some ha lovely halal meat, if possible. For me, I find that halal meat is a little bit more cleaner. Um, and we're gonna. Well, we already know what it is, and there's nothing really much we can do, other than giving him the biotics to get him out of there. Now we've given her that. We are waiting for the blood test and transient that's because elastography um it doesn't really matter it the payment is only for the heptic fibrosis it's not for the treatment done so we can let her go and he can go too yep there we go cleared the board yay <laughs> not even day one has finished yet and we cleared the board i think we could do two more and get the patients per day unlocked so we can at least try and get um the events unlocked hopefully but i don't know if we can do that while we it's it's, it's a bit difficult to do sometimes especially on the first day we've got nine gone yes oh that's the shift done already We've got the 10 people out of here. He was the 10th. So, oh, 15 pa patients per day? I doubt it very much. And uh, I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'm Telia. If you love and s like and subscribe, uh, you leave a comment and I uh, can continue on. And I think the next one. We're going to look at internal medicine department and that's like things to do with lupus and things like that and lung, a lot of lung issues. It's going to be really great. I can't wait. 
see you until next time bye